Son, we're looking for the maniac. Have you seen this man? Well, I can't tell you how lucky I feel right now. This is a zombie barrel animatronic from 2010, and if you have been watching the previous couple of videos, you might know this is the last one I've been looking for, and I have been in the search for this guy for probably over half of a year at this point. But this wasn't the first one I found, no, no. I found one on Makari maybe a month ago at the time of filming this video. It didn't have the box, it didn't have the instructions, but it fully worked, and the seller wanted 200 bucks for it. Um, I was tempted to purchase it, but kind of a little bit regretting it because in the end it ended up costing around $300 with all the shipping fees and order placing fees and all these stupid fees that Mercari has in place. So it ended up costing $300 and I wasn't too happy about that. And if you know me, you know that I love to have the original boxes and stuff. So that one did come and I actually filmed a video on that like literally three days ago. Well, hello everyone and welcome back to the Apache Halloween YouTube channel. Zombie Barrel Animatronic. I'm really sorry if I seem a little tired in this video, but literally like a day after getting that video done and was working on editing it, I actually found a zombie barrel with the box for $100 locally right here in the Chicago land area. I knew I had to jump on it and he fully works to my knowledge. I haven't set him up yet, but I saw a video of him together. So I'm assuming he works. So now I want to give you a totally proper unboxing of the zombie barrel prop. So I'm just going to bring you along on this little uh, look over here. And this is pretty funny. These weren't the instructions that came with him. I haven't opened it up yet, so I don't know if there are another uh, copy of instructions inside the box somewhere. But these actually came out of my Silent and Deadly Clowns box when I bought him over a year ago. These were in there, but I, I held on to them with the intent of eventually one day getting my hands on one of them. So I've had the instructions for well over a year now, and now I've just finally gotten the prop that goes with them. So if the instructions aren't in here and I need help setting them up, well, I got them. But here you can just kind of peek in. There he is laying in there. You got the barrel, the, the poles, and that looks about all I can see at this point. But here's the back side of the box. Realistic sounds will make your flesh crawl. Life size rises up and down. Eyes light up, sound activated. Here you can see a side shot of him in his activation. This is basically the same thing on this side. And then this is what I would assume to be the front of the box. And here he has the price tag down here of $149.99. All right, so here we go. Let's take a look at my second zombie barrel. So here are the poles. And one thing that I had to do with these is uh, with the other zombie barrel, the seller forgot to ship the, the actual threaded poles, these things. So I ended up going to Home Depot, buying this threaded rod, which you can buy, and then ended up 3D printing these. And they're actually working pretty well at the at this moment in time. And this is exactly basically what I made. So I'm actually pretty happy with how those turned out now, knowing what the real ones look like here. But it wasn't that difficult. All you had to do was just make a like a cube and then just make a little lip right here for the rings of the barrel to hold on to. But you get three of those. Here's the barrel. Barrel looks to be in really nice shape. You got the man himself, and he looks to be in pretty good shape overall, speaking. I don't really see any dry rot on him. Everything looks very squishy, which is what I was hoping for. So I'm really happy to see that. It's all really nice and good. You've got the original adapter as well, and the little support feet as well as the main base with all the hardware on it. So that's everything that's in the box. So no instructions, so that's awesome to have these. So it's basically all complete. But let's get to the uh, setup of the zombie barrel. All right, so the first thing I gotta do with the zombie barrel is mount the lower part of his base to him. And that is this part right here. So I'm just gonna unthread these um, nuts here 
and then we're just going to mount the zombie to the top and this could be a little tricky making sure to get all the holes lined up try to do it right now get it all on camera there we go that actually seemed to have not gone half bad and then you need to pull the bolt up from the bottom and make sure it gets set in place for the thread to poke through here if you can even see that but the thread it will like just fall in so you got to pull it up and then just tighten it down with the nut and then just do all three sides all right so next we're just going to take the extension poles out here and plug them onto the his base basically and it just goes around like this in a way but there should be three openings and there's one right here so I'm just going to plug in this first one and that gets you the general idea of what has to go on here and then there's a plug for the lights and such but then you just do that three more times there's a lot of repetition with this build here all right so next up we're gonna take the long poles and just slot them in place in the existing holes at the bottom and do it for all three sides and then lastly we're gonna take the actual barrel itself and get it to drape over all the poles here and just run it down and then there's just little notches in the actual wire that just basically hold it up you might be wondering how am I so good at setting up these zombie barrels so fast and it's because I've set them up like 20 billion times already all right he's all set up and ready to go he's plugged in got him plugged in he's good to go let's give him a clap or something and see what he does There he is. That's that's it. That's all he does. He just comes up and yells at you. But that's him. Now I'm going to take the other one that I got over there. Yeah, there it is. It's right there. But I'm going to take those two and just pop them together. I just want to see what they both do and just do a little quick comparison and see what I'm going to do with the other one. Because I don't know what I'm going to do yet. I might swap parts and make like the ultimate zombie barrel. Like, just take what's ever good from either one. I don't know yet. I'll have to see. That's what I'm going to do right now. All right, they're both plugged in. Let's, let's see what they do. They're both pretty responsive. I think this one's a little slower. The motor might need a replacement. This one is pretty good, but there's a few questions I have on it. Overall, it's really a nice piece. But if you hear the speaker on this one, it kind of sounds a little croaky. It could just be from not being used in a while, or it could maybe just need a speaker replacement. I'm not too sure yet. But there they are. I'm just going to do one more quick little stomp. You can definitely see that one's mouth moves way nicer, and that's because, like, the glue must have come up a little bit under the chin. That one's really uh, stiff. But this one looks a little nicer in terms of sculpting. It's more symmetrical. That one has some, like, warpage in the head. But there are the zombie barrels. I am super happy to have found this one with the box. I really wanted the box. Now I just got to figure out which one I'm going to keep and which one I'm going to maybe sell or get rid of. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. I might keep them both. But that's for later me to decide. But all in all, I'm really happy to have found it. And I hope you guys are all excited for what's coming next. You might have seen a little sneak peek when I filmed over there to show the other barrel. But that's coming very soon. So that's all I have for you guys today. So I want to thank you all so much for watching. And I will see you all in the next video.